Chapter 33 Gary made it to the edge of Soulgrave and told the Uber driver to drop him off there. The guy was talking about how Sky TV was dead, or some such phrase. Gary's leg hurt more listening to the man than it had ever done being cleaned and dressed in the hospital. He needed to go back three days later to have the dressing changed. Gary reminded himself not to call another Uber. He'd ask Agnes for a lift. He looked along the road where his colleagues had chased the man. It was damp underfoot. Gary didn't want to slip, so he took his time. As much as he wanted to be there as soon as possible, he had to be there in one piece. Gary looked at his phone for the first time since a minute before his Uber turned up at the hospital. No calls or texts from Augustine or Ash. He tried calling both as he walked. Nothing. Straight to answer phone. Must have their phones switched off. Reaching Augustine's car, parked at the same address as the day previous, Gary stopped and leaned on the bonnet to regain his breath. His fitness levels weren't where they should be, and the injury was causing him to walk at a funny angle to keep his trouser leg from rubbing at the dressing, which was causing an irritation. As he walked along the street, mirroring the direction he saw Augustine and Ash walk back from the day before, he spotted a couple of figures in the distance. Thinking they might be Augustine and Ash, he set off again, drawing deep breaths to see if he could bring oxygen into his aching leg muscles and catch up. 